Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. Minnesota Monday, coming at you. Actually, I'm filming this on Sunday night. Been out playing ball, softball. Starting my 36th year of softball. Some of you guys aren't even 36 years old. The only difference between uh, starting at 16 and now is, uh, I know tomorrow morning or the next morning, I'm gonna feel it. I don't recover well. Help me recover, have I got a beer? Hey, this was handed to me by uh, Robert at uh, uh, at the brewery that I uh, work at. Uh, let me see. Winter India Pale Ale. Harness the Winter IPA from Bent Paddle. Our friends up in Duluth. We've been up there before. 7.2% um, ABV. Our winter IPA was brewed in honor of the boundless energy and tenacious character of the sled dog. Brewed for hardiness with oats, rye, and malted barley. The comfort of malt sweetness harnessed the cold, crisp citrus notes from the hops. This is perfect to celebrate bounding through the deep snow. I ain't going to celebrate that, man. We're in the spring. It was 73 today. I was out playing ball. You're kidding me. Um, I never heard, never had this, never heard of it. I heard it was a, a limited release. And Robert, uh, again, Robert at Badger Hill, thank you for the beer. Um, he got me one. So, limited release. Check that out for an IPA. Talk about a dark amber. I've got, uh, I don't know, who are you off camera? Uh, no, I've, I've got my alter ego off camera. Uh, what, what's uh, Norm's wife? Vera? Vera. Vera from Cheers <laughs> off camera. Never to be seen. Um, it's like an amber colored uh, and I did get pretty aggressive with it so several fingers worth of head. But uh, a nice looking beer. Pretty hearty looking IPA. And that is piney. Oh man, piney. Uh, by the way, just I, I always forget some of the stuff. Uh, no date on the can. I don't know when this was made. I'm assuming it's fairly fresh, but I'm filming this on April 12th. Is it 12th? 12th. 12th. Yeah, Sunday the 12th. So just piney citrus. Heavy on the pine. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. I mean, I'm getting heavy pine. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, nice. Pine, smooth, malt. That spiciness from the rye. Um, this is really a nice beer. Just from first sip. You ever get those where you, it's first sip and you know it's going to be a good beer? This is it. Yeah. That rye spicy note, oh man, that hits you well. There's pininess behind it, and the more I talk, this pininess is coming. A slight bit of citrus, malty sweetness behind it. There's these those three things going on: that that rye spiciness, the uh, pininess, and then that malty sweetness. They're they're not fighting each other; they're holding hands. This is really well put together. I mean, just a nice complex beer. I, I'm not a big fan of beers that are, you know, one-sided and just one thing just hitting you in the face. This thing has got so much going on, but it holds hands really well. Yeah, this is great. You know, I've, I've never been up there, and uh, Vera and I made a... Uh, a pledge to get up to Duluth. My brother's up in Duluth, up on the North Shore, uh, Lake Superior. Um, Got to get up there, check out Ben Paddle, check out uh, some of the other places up in Duluth. I mean, that is the, whether it's the hot scene in Minnesota or the other hot scene, depending on who you talk to. Um, Got to get up there. Hey, um, Harness the Winter IPA from Ben Paddle up in Duluth. Um, I'm just reviewing it because I got one. Uh, again, thanks to Robert, but 
9.25 this is awesome uh, I don't think you can get it anymore if you if you find a four pack six pack however they're selling it grab it this is really a nice beer um, maybe we'll do a review from up on site up there but our friends at Ben Paddle thank you um, it says one to enjoy during the winter you know what we're gonna get some uh, I don't know if the winds bothering the microphone but uh, we're gonna get some thunderstorms tonight things are brewing uh, you can see the clouds blowing in pretty heavy um, we're gonna get some rain anyways uh, if you've tried it throw some comments down I'd love to hear from you thanks for sharing a beer world cheers